Hello, everybody. <coughs> yeah, sorry for that. <coughs> I am your host, Michael Manning, and welcome back to Penn State Baron Esports. We are here with you tonight for Penn State Baron League Team 2. Penn State Baron League Team 2's first stream of the season. Here, first time we've actually seen um, Draft LOL as well for this season. And this is just pretty much if schools don't have every character unlocked, it's an easy, <coughs> stress free way of picking and banning everything. Before we, before going into the game proper. <clears throat> Otherwise, you can't just go into the game, which we have seen for the last couple um, streams. So, I, I don't. I believe not. Liu means Baron. <laughs> I believe Liu is the opposing side today. So, let's go with that. With not Liu. Again, assuming Baron. Um, yeah, definitely Baron. We have Blitzcrank and Zaya locked in. The bot lane and immediately selected. Waiting for the third pick. I'm expecting a jungle. Just because of how important both bot lane and jungle have been this patch. Um, I'm just fully expecting it. Also, you might be surprised that nobody's <coughs> picked or banned Aurelian Soul yet. That would be because the ECAC League has made the executive decision to ban a soul for the first five days of his release. That of course means that yes, you, you will not see him today. We could potentially see him next week if he's still as powerful as he is at the moment. Because at current, Aesol is a very powerful mid laner. Carlos locked in. I'm actually not sure if that will be Penn State's mid or top or a jungle. I'm expecting jungle though, just because, like we said, how important jungle has already shown to be in the um, <coughs> recent, like, just situation that league is in. As you can see, LIU also did the same thing, Lucky in bot lane and jungle first with the Moomoo, Karma, and Caitlyn. I see fans from both sides focusing on top and mid lane. Some real bruisery characters knocked out of the running. Fiora selected on LIU side. Uh, One sec. You know, some kind of music going in the background. <laughs> Mordecai just selected by L uh, by Baron. Okay, I do actually believe that is a card that's mid, because Mord has been seeing play almost exclusively in jungle recently. Um, and if you know, if anyone remembers Team 2's lineup, which includes Ward on Void, he plays pretty much exclusively control mages. Definitely not Mordekaiser. <laughs> So I invite you to fully join.
It's like LAU finally filtering in. Okay, we are hopping into the <coughs> Jeff Page proper. Again, the same things that we saw last time. So that's new.
Wait a minute. Huh? Okay. That is actually... Okay. Thank you, Kalia. So it turns out that that is actually... Genuinely... A... A Camille Mid... Played by Ward on Void. Who is traditionally a very passive player. And Chi Fong on Carthage Jungle. Well, this is going to be interesting. <coughs> Looks like the lanes here for Penn State Baron are just going for maximum gank setup. Meanwhile, um, depending on how it ends up going, it really looks like uh, uh, LIU is trying to focus on bullying the lanes themselves. Because Akali, Fiora, Caitlyn, those are some this is my lane, you're playing my game characters. So I'm very interested to see how both teams end up playing this out. Like, the story goes its way into what controlling the dragon system. 
like he's over. Do you want to know? This is this is reality. And the person they're fighting is just a shadow of whatever garbage they grew up with. Okay. Jumping into this game proper. I am very interested to see how this plays out because especially for parents. Hey, hey, and no spectator bug either. Thing, folks, things are looking up. I am very intrigued with this. Okay. We have Baron paying for an invade as well. I mean, between Blitzcrank, Karthus, Camille, they, their level one is not terrible. Ooh, nice ward by Downdy. Going to catch Baron when they end up moving up. Yep, LIU sees this invade coming now. Let's see if they move to intercept or it's just going to try and avoid. Dowdy is just walking away. <laughs> oh. They don't know where Baron is now, though. They have an idea. Baron's stacking in that bush. Oh, no. They definitely know. Those pings. Corn going for the back. Yeah, and LIU will just walk around and... Oh my gosh, four members of Baron actually decide to stick it. Yeah, LIU does not have eyes on Baron right now. Oh, this is... This is... I would call this greedy by Baron. Wow, the jump over. You didn't get anything out of this. Nothing really. Ward is still there. Lonely is just gonna take this free XP. He didn't even get all the minions. Oh, and LIU is just gonna let Baron take that blue. Jungle the bit of an awkward spot, but Lonely getting all this free XP. He's not gonna get played by that. Already level 2. Camille is a very effective, like, sustainer in lane, so. Definitely the pick of war what ward what do some cheeky like that course you gotta be careful. Bladestorm has level two. You're really sitting on that Q. I was expected by that <coughs> Caitlin Karma bot lane, just getting poked out of it. Core doing a good job trading. Ooh, ward dashing in. Lonely actually gets uh, dashes back in. Ward can't use the um True damage empowered Q there. This one is level 3. Corn doing a really good job poking with these Qs, but he's gotta be careful not get poked back. Yeah, there that is. Especially with Grasp of the End dying. Fiora Sustain is just so powerful. She already looking for a gank here. Oh my gosh, Justin just sticks it! Does end up dying. But if Baron can secure this double, there's the flesh. That! Ugh. Flesh and ignite, or er, heal and ignite being spent by Baron. It doesn't fully feel worth it. You did end up getting Dowdy's flash, but. Ugh. Baroness wins there. Ooh. Just an almost under that hook. Some fantastic damage there by Ward. She wanted to help out, but was a bit too far away. Ooh. She moving up, but play storm and Let's call him Emblem. <laughs> Emblem on a Moo Moo. Curing that top skill. Just going for the hook. Oh, a fantastic hook by Justin. <laughs> With no flash to get out. 
Ward going for a hook onto Emblem. Interesting. It's like very cocky. Yeah, oh, wow, very nice, very clean hook by Justin. Secures Electro Chaos kill. Puts Baron back on the board when it comes to bot. Ward's gotta be careful. Emblem's sitting in that bush. Moo Moo. Moo Moo's gank power is obviously just massive. Trying to make this trade work does do a little bit of burn. This viewer vitals very dangerous. have level six. Level six starting to come up on people. Alts coming online. Emblem's coming by, but him taking care of Baron's ward lets them know that, that he's there. <coughs> I apologize for the cop, folks. It's a very dry throat right now. Just walks right into that. The knock up though, and the hook on Dowdy. She is there. Was he just killing emblem? Ooh, Dowdy gets out of the kill. But even with that ghost, I don't think he's getting away from Electro. Oh, come on! The f oh no! Electro tried to fuck. <laughs> Electro tried to flash <coughs> <coughs> through the queue, ended up flashing into it, taking the full brunt of the damage. Ganked by Ward. Oh, will that? It's not gonna kill, but it will get very low. Blade's gonna take that back. Has to come on, Chi. Here's the kill. Ward's gonna try and fight it, but Emblem's on the way. The flash. Here's the hexagon to mate him. Emblem right behind him. Yeah, I know. That'll 
I will connect. Evelyn will secure the kill. Justin's hook barely whiffing. They've been a blessing in the skies. Emblem right there, bot getting ready for dragon. I'm talking about buying about these lane bullets. Oh no, Chi! Run on the way, cover. Covers jungler, but they've got to be careful of lonely. Very clean combos by Lonely, just dealing so much damage to Ward. First Drake goes to LIU. Gordon doing some great damage. Oh my gosh, that isolated Q. Gun still comes down just for some burst. Lonely is another kill on Ward, but she manages to get that shutdown. Nice hook! So good tower, there's the flash, there's the ignite. Ooh, there's the blade storm. Electro, pull it back! Why'd you wait so long? Starts getting ganked here. There's the grand challenge on the corn. He is not afraid though. It's she like sign up. There's the flash. Blade does manage to escape. Rift Herald top looking to try and take that first tower or the extra gold. They're sort of trying to stop Corn and Chi, but man, those isolated cues from Mordekaiser deal so much burst. We're severely behind though. First items coming in on both sides. <coughs> First buy Sunfire from a Mumu. Now that's surprising. Mumu's whole game plan is just surgically attaching himself to people. So anything that boosts that effectiveness will see no complaint from your team. Wow. 
Oh, Lonely just popped. She tried to take his raptors. Ward, pop attack, stun cold, made him. Trying to connect him. The flash that E still connects. The hook connects as well. Justice battering Lonely. He's waiting for that E to come up. But Ward, and Justin can't catch him. He tries to E away, but it's not far enough. Extra mobility. Ward's W's he's got to be up any second. There it is, the slow. No getting away. Shut down for Ward. Oh no! Ward jumps over to try and save Justin. Justin <coughs> has his flash active. Dooming Ward. Electro goes over to try and save his teammate. And just get away himself. Dowdy flashes and they go. Oh no! Justin walked right into the trap! This is so spaghetti! Built up such a dominant lead here. Well, it's not too far to bridge though. 3k gold is definitely rough for Baron, but it's far from impossible. We've we've seen them come back from worse. Is the craziest part. Corn popped the death realm on lonely. Actually, everything. Three members of LAU sitting there ready. Oh my gosh, the insane level the first. Oh! Justin gets the hook. Oh no, Lonely getting through Chi. Manages to get finished off by Chi in the afterlife. Ward comes in. Pop attacks to Colomado on Bladestorm. Ward and Electro trying to batter him down. Justin's down. Oh no! Ward gets stunned. Another dragon for red team. Chem soul as well. How survivable so many members of LIU are. Baron really just... They're definitely in a rough spot now, but they cannot afford to let LIU secure this um, dragon soul. That really is a legitimate win condition for LIU. Gijam uh, kept up. The newest version of the Chem Drake does actually, um, when you're under half health, you take less damage and deal more. And with characters like Fiora, you can stabilize very well. Or Kira just like a Kali who can just dodge a lot of damage. You really can't afford to let them get a soul that increases um, their long form team fighting even more.
Lily caught by the Hexicle Tomato. W allows him to stay visible. But just with a nice little CC combo, the flash ignite to shut down Chi. She finishes off Lonely with that aura. Ward going in on Dowdy. Flashes out. There's the ghost. We're trying to stay. Ooh, he's just getting peppered though. Nice hook! Dowdy managed to get the kill <coughs> on Justin. That's 1,000 gold for Electro. Meanwhile, Bruiser's fighting top lane. Ooh, there's the death realm! Oh no! The Q went for the tower instead of the vital! That that would have killed Cord otherwise. That is so unlucky. Chibong goes in, he might die, but he manages to steal the dragon! Get some extra gold for Ben as well, Korn. Might get cut out of here, trying to get away! Ward gets caught, lonely, chasing after Electro, manages to escape. Korn is finished off, and Justin actually managed to just recall inside of the dragon pit. LIU going to use this momentum to try and take Baron. Yeah, that will be very nice. Bladestorm pushing by. Very nice CC combo. Means that Electro gets to secure the kill. I'm coming top to cover. Lonely. Lonely gets the kill on board. She's still there though. Getting torn apart by these <laughs> bear. Oh my gosh, Corn ulted. Dowdy tried to secure the kill. Dowdy managed to kill him first though. Another turret of Baron's down. 10k gold lead almost. On LIU side.
CLIU potentially setting up for the next dragon here. Going to gauge on a ward. Where dashes through lonely, managed to get out. Okay, LIU looking to take this fourth dragon. If they manage to secure this, they will be on their soul point. Ward's just walking up. Yeah, that's another Drake for LIU. The TP as well from Bladestorm. She gets killed. Lonely pops the Zanyas to get away. Ooh, there's the ult. And the E on to Electro. Very, very nice execution. Corn gets that kill. Ward's battling Blade, but yeah, he's gonna be forced to fail. Daddy secures that kill. There's the flash. Adax finishes off Corn. Justin's hoofing it. Gold lead is just rising for LIU. 12k now. I'm going to use this lead to secure a second Baron Nasher. Really no position to challenge, especially with Lonely right there. He managed to get the hook on Dowdy, but he already bought a stopwatch for this exact. That's a fantastic pullback from um, Electro, though. An another extra couple kills, thanks to the um, the ult from Chi. Baron actually with that fantastic blade storm pull, a quadra kill coming out from Chi. What is that even called? Requiem, dealing insane levels of burst. And just fantastic stuff for Baron. Wow. Managed to clear LIU's uh, Nasher buff. Still 10k in the hole, but that definitely helped.
Kaylin's stuff watch is broken. If Baron can get another jump on her, that will be a massive boon to this fight. If they can take out Caitlyn and Akali, that is the two main sources of strength for LIU here. Blades are pushing top corner already there to meet him. Lonely is sitting in this bush waiting, hoping for a member of Baron to, to try and sneak past. Just the switch does not connect. And Ward is there. <coughs> Ward is back at base, catching minions. He's TPing in actually. Yeah, no, that's... Guys, you're not in a position. And now that's a lot of minions just battering your tower. Baron is going to lose a tower here because of that TP. Yeah, wow. That was, that was too little too late. Actually doing more harm than good. Super rough. Another turret for Bladestorm. Baron looking to secure kills wherever they can. Bladestorm gets peppered here. Kill ends up going to corn. No spoilers! I hate this bug. I utterly despise that spectator bug. Another Baron Nasher of LIU. Being it definitely floating towards a Baron going to try and respond.
Big engage from Baron. Ooh, Ward gets Dowdy. Here comes the Requiem, a nice Elixir Burst. Ray Storm and ADX is down. He's only still alive. Oh no, Baron's getting cut through. They managed to take down Dowdy very early. But. Ah, with Lon <coughs> Lonely surviving, he just had to stay on the back foot. Allow Baron to use the majority of their engage and burst, and then just gut whoever was left. Okay, and that was our first game. LIU ends up taking it over Penn State Baron. Wait for the invite and see what comes next. And so, folks, we'll be right back with our next game. Please take the time to <coughs> hit the bathroom, grab a snack, grab a drink. We'll be right back with the next game of Penn State Baron. Uh, versus LIU here on the Penn State Bear News Sports Show.
Ready. Well... Sorry folks, I thought I had the mic unmuted, it's my bed, looks like we had a bit of a hiccup there on the uh, pick ban, but should be going here in just a second. I'm going to take this from the top.
is the first of many foes. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Bladestorm rocking the Camille this time on LIU side rather than Baron. Baron Nar Top, a Hecarim Jungle. <coughs> Azir, definitely a mid laner. More ward speed. Zion once again on Electro. And then Justin on Alistar. Hyper aggro, another pretty aggressive support. Meanwhile, on LIU side, you once again have um, Emblem on a Mumu, but other than that, Lonely, another very bursty, aggressive mid laner with Silas. He's been seeing a lot of play in jungle, so I was actually kind of surprised to see him. If you could have heard me, <laughs> if I didn't turn off the mic like a stupid, um, surprised actually to see him. Played mid rather than the jungle, where he's been seeing a lot of play recently. Jin on Dowdy. Since Baron <coughs> banned out his Caitlyn. And Adax on Zyra. Another very poke heavy support. minute left Baron Baron could have had a much different game if they had if Electro could have killed Dowdy in that very early bot gank pulled off by Chi we didn't see that Dowdy got fed uh, got fed nice and early and LIU just ran with that the whole time not even talking about how lonely was a menace in his own right having to fight two X factors like that Baron managed to isolate and one-shot one of them, but against two, eh, especially Jin. Another nice range, not as much range, quite a bit more mobile than Xal's move speed. But Baron's gonna have to be careful. They can't let LIU get that early lead, because LIU has proven that without a doubt they know how to play with it. No spectator bug either, okay. The 
30 seconds until minions spawn. Baron, not going for this early invade. Engage! It's from Gitsell level 2. Corn may just get out. No real pain. Doing a nice early gank here by Chi, but Emblem is right there. She's getting first down. Nice knock up by Justin. Forces. <laughs> Down even flash. But again, this is what happened last time. Baron went for a gank. And Li Yu just played around that. Blade. Fantastic trades against Korn. Gonna be a little rough for Baron's bot lane. Very nice poke by Ward. getting ganked here a nice stun on blade will let him get out that could have been it there could have absolutely been a death if he didn't get out that quickly corn does have tp so he can go for back here
nice early dragon for Baron. As long as they can play around these objectives and just play off that early death, then it's still absolutely looking like either team's favorite. And if we're just looking at scaling, Azir scales like a monster. Just a hanging bot to catch this wave. Engaged by Bladestorm. Corrin hit level 6 as well. That's a massive power spike for Nar. Pops away from the W. Ooh, Ward's gotta be careful. Lonely. Yoinked is all. He has now just as good gank setup as Ward has. That early Oblivion Orb, though, is a very nice call. Gonna make it much harder for Silas to really just full heal over and over in these big fights. Corey gets a nice little engage on the blade storm. Trying to zone Blade Storm off here though. That W, the engage, there's the Ignite Core, no! <coughs> she can do a lot of damage here. Bait doesn't have ult, he's gonna have to run away. Ward is there. If she can bait Blade Storm to stay, no. Nope. He sees Ward. But he's gonna get out of there thanks to that hook. That was so unfortunate. Without ult, Nari's just very vulnerable. To that kind of all in. Ooh, nice. Done. Forces the flash. Gucci coming in bot as there it is. Oh no! Alt too far back that it doesn't hit Dowdy. Does force 8x's flash, but still, we're doing a good job bullying Lonely. Emblem's heading bot. Baron's bot lane has to be careful here. Nice sidestep on that route. Ooh, Bladestorm's taking this poke. She going for this Rift Herald. 
Baron might be down a couple kills, but they're really stabilizing this gold dividend and trying to secure some objectives. Ooh, Corn flashes, forcing Blitz over time. He manages to survive. Dragon as well. She actually doesn't go for the. <coughs> doesn't finish the rift there. Drive fights Camille, collecting that shutdown. That's a nice little pouch of gold. Lonely. The Emperor's vibe is about to go off, go on cooldown. Might as well pop it. See if we can get something off it, even if nothing happens. That could have been very dangerous for Corrin if that W tanker. Ooh, Corrin manages to hop out of the stun. Can't get away from emblems though. Massive burst, but here's Chi! Emblem so low! There's that kill. Corrin's gotta be careful. He almost has Mega! Ooh, Blade Storm managed to get out. It's another kill for Baron, just like that. It's barely any gold lead to speak of. Ward floated as well. There's Lonely. They get on top of him. There's the Ghost. Lonely flashes over. Oh, the Onslaught of Shadows! Nara hops over. There's the ult. Does it connect to Lonely on a wall? Meanwhile, bot lane, that's a kill for Electro. And that's a kill for Electro. <laughs> Nobody died top, actually. Completely evening up the gold. 19 to 19k here. Oh no, Ward! <coughs> oh my gosh, the the uh, Emperor's divide though. She is there. Lashes out. Oh, there's the kill on Emblem. Corn arrives as well, but he's half HP. Ooh, she's low. There's that shutdown going into Blade's pocket. Corn. She's form. There's the jump. Justin with the headbutt saves his teammate. Once again, Liu very slightly in the lead. Thing here, TP wants to be there for this dragon fight. Lonely has the Alistar ult that's gonna make him so much harder to kill. Ward is there. Doesn't have him first divide though. Baron doesn't have a lot of ultimates. Meanwhile, pretty much all of them are online for LIU. Oh, no. <coughs> oh my god, that burst! Shit. <coughs> Half of poor Korn's health. If he gets eat on again, he might just die. Especially once that Hextech Ultimatum's up. Speaking of up, Dragon is up at 25 seconds. Looks like Bladestorm's gonna send that bush. Try bait out corn. Come on, man, don't fall for it. Oh, he manages to dodge. 
the the knee and stuff. Coming in, he's on slow shadows, trying to batter down Dowdy. He gets bursted by LIU. Nice little combo by Electro, but Blade Storm's on top of him, and nobody's gonna cover Justin trying to fight the members, trying to kill the dragon. Oh, Ward managed to dodge. Can he get out? And for his divide, he's trying. Oh no, the Everfrost! That's another kill for Blade Storm. Him and me. It's like that. That's a nice little lead for <coughs> LIU. No, that's very bad for Lonely. Still damn first <coughs> divide. She managed to get on top of him. It's a kill for Ward. It's an extra. Oh, Justin knocks Blaze from out of position. Where's E back in? Oh, but Corn. Oh, that's a huge Zyra. Oh, Blaze from yourself, Corn. He emblem kills Justin. Dang, Baron's getting good engages. But LIU is just playing these fights better overall. It's a Rift Herald for LIU as well. Emblem gets out on Ward, but nothing quite comes of it. Flash out. Oh no, Justin actually saves Emblem from that onslaught of shadow, knocking him out of the way. Get down, Mr. President. Emblem's getting torn apart. Ward dashes over. Oh, with the flash out. Oh no, Ward's getting torn to pieces. Oh, 
Oh, and Electro gets stunned as well and managed to get out. Such a massive lead already built by LIU. Trying to secure, yep, that's a third Drake for them on their sole point for this Hex, hex Drake. Sidesteps it does hit by the air frost. Here's Chief. Only pops. Oh no, the also shot misses. Adax is here. And the curtain call. Man, every time Baron goes for a play, LIU just responds perfectly. That's rude. <laughs> oh, she comes up again. There's the knockup. Glacial Augment. I guess I can only comes down on Chi. Later, I'm trying to get out, but I don't know how you run from Hecarim. I'll be honest. He's not giving up. That's 900 gold in his pocket. Meanwhile, though, LIU should transition to use his Baron Book to push bot, get as many towers as they can. Baron forced back to all their in hip towers now. They are on the back foot. Soul point for LIU up in two minutes. And the next Nash is up in five. One minute.
no, she's gonna get, uh, get caught out here. And without it, stop doing that. Out a jungler. This fight for Baron's gonna be even harder. Almost a guaranteed, yeah. With how position Baron is positioned, a guaranteed soul for that for LIU. Adax gets Electro. Ward, oh no, Emblem and Ward get caught as well. Baron's down at soul point. Hexol for LIU. Oh no, Dowdy's so far ahead. What the hell? Oh my gosh. I'm mastery spamming now. I'm surprised by that back. I feel like LA you could just end it there. Here, you should have to think from Baron's perspective, what do you need to do better? What do you need to improve on for next game? Because, you know, every game is a learning experience. A very nice double knock up there by Adax. It's going to get Justin, it's going to get Ward. Electro's caught as well by that Hextech Ultimatum. She trying to do something in response. He's still fighting. Ah, Corrin gets Adax, but that's entirety of Baron. Oh, Gwen's still there. Yeah, that's the rest of Baron finished off. Wow. Okay, yeah, um... Good game. Uh, very well done by LIU. Yeah, Baron just needs to think about when you change differently. I'm not going to pretend like I know. <laughs> There's a reason they're out there, and I'm in here. But, overall, very nice game. <coughs> Everyone involved, LIU, knew how to play those early fights. They knew that Baron was going to try focus bot lane, and they played for that early. So, just a fantastic play overall. Thank you for tuning in tonight, folks. I've been your host, Michael Manning. This has been the Penn State Bear News Sports Channel. Please be safe, be good to each other, have a fantastic night.